New tonight, St. Thomas University is about to launch a brand new football program this summer, but that's not the only new sport recruiting players to campus. CBS 4 News anchor Lauren Pastrana explains how students are turning video game playing into college scholarships and even future careers. Strategy and skill, essentials for any athlete, either on the court or in the computer lab? That's really good. Kelly Rivera spends a lot of time here. But it's not all fun and games. That guy was going to destroy me if I didn't kill him right there. This is a sport. Well, technically, an e-sport. It's very similar to like when you're at home and you're playing with your friends. You all get on one team to like fight the other, right? St. Thomas University in Miami Gardens has the first school sanctioned esports team in South Florida. The team housed in a room above the basketball court even falls under the athletic department where the director Laura Courtley Todd thinks it's a perfect fit. <laughs> this is it gets them out of their dorm rooms because they're playing this in their dorm rooms, but now they have to come across campus, walk through the gym, walk by the fitness center, and come up the stairs and be integrated with all the sports. St. Thomas is a NACE member. The National Association of Collegiate Esports currently has more than 125 member schools, up from just seven in July 2017. And it's doled out more than $15 million in scholarships and aid. The average American spends more than seven hours a week on video games. You lose track of time. <laughs> Kelly and her teammates spend way more than that. She plays about 20 hours a week, and she also studies the game. You can go on Twitch and then watch like plenty of other gamers practice, and as you watch them, you pick up their strategies and their like tips and guides to tricks you know, how to get better. Kelly's not just a player, she's also the team manager, and she basically built this room from scratch. There is space for 17 players. They have about 10 on the team right now, so still plenty of room to grow. So how do you find the best and brightest video game players on a college campus? Computer science professor Sean Mondesier says look no further than his classroom. Um, about 65% uh, of them are hardcore gamers. And so when I brought them here, they were all amazed with the professional level that is here in the esports team. He says many students already have the skills to be stars on the team, and those same skills can translate into a job down the road. The video gaming industry is very big uh, right now, um, uh, looking at trying to create the next level game. So they need people to actually develop those next level games. These student athletes are also eligible for scholarships, either by winning competitions or through the school itself. Kelly says she hasn't won any scholarships yet, but she's getting better every day. If you have the drive to work hard and improve in your skills and your gaming, then you can definitely find a place on our team. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.